Right, now you are here because you want to learn how to factorise a quadratic, right? Now this here is probably the method that you're going to learn at school. It's called splitting the middle term or to keep it simple, the legit way, all right? So what I mean is you want to be doing it this way, okay? You see this in your exam, you want to do it with this method if possible, okay? So here's what a quadratic looks like. This is the kind of quadratic we're going to be factorising where you've got an x squared, you've got an x term and a constant, right? There's other types of quadratics that you can factorize as well and that you will see, but in this video, we're only gonna factorize these types of quadratics over here. So, I've put out some simple steps for us to follow, and what we're gonna do is follow those steps through and see how we can factorize this quadratic over here, okay? So, first thing we need to do, step number one, is label the coefficient of x squared as a. Now, coefficient just means the number in front of the x squared, okay? So, coefficient, number in front of. So, coefficient of x squared, you look over there, oh, you think there might not be a number here, but when you see a letter, if you've got just algebra, you know, like an X or a Y or something like that, there is a hidden number in front of it, there's a number one, okay? So I'm gonna fill it in for you uh, people who don't know that. So there we go, there's the one. Now on top of that, what I'm gonna do is write a label, A, and then label the coefficient of X as B. So on top of the X number, I'm gonna put a B, right? So over here, B. And then label the constant, which is just the number on the end. I'm going to label that as C. There we go. So as you can see so far, we've got A is equal to 1. So I'm going to put that here. A equals 1. I'm going to put B is equal to positive 3. And C is equal to minus 10. Okay, step 1, done. Now, moving on to step 2. Multiply A and C together. So A was 1. So I'm going to do 1 times by, and C was minus 10. So 1 times minus 10 is minus 10. Now, we're also going to note down what b is. So b, we said, was the number 3. So I'm noting that down. Now look what we need to do. We need to think of a pair of numbers that multiplies to a and, oh, sorry, to what a times c was. So a times c was minus 10. So what we're going to do is start thinking of numbers that multiply to minus 10. So I can think of minus 10 times 1. I can think of 10 times minus 1. I can think of minus 5 times by 2. And then 5 times minus 2. And I think that's all the combinations you can have. So what we need to do now is we need to pick one of these, but which one do you pick? What you do is you pick the one that adds to make B, okay? So adds to make three in this question. So that's not gonna be this one, it's not gonna be this one. The one that adds to give you three is in fact going to be this one over here because five take away two is three. So now what am I gonna do? I'm gonna take these numbers and I'm gonna put them into my bracket because these are the ones that I'm going to use, okay? Perfect. Now, step number three, use your two numbers to rewrite or split the middle term. So what does this mean? Now you can see in that quadratic that we started with, the middle term that we had here was plus three X. Now this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna break that up, okay? So we're gonna break this into, see the two numbers that we found? We're gonna break it into those. So watch, we're gonna have one X squared because that was at the very start. But now instead of writing plus three X, this is what we're gonna write. We're gonna write plus five X because five was the first number that we selected. And then minus two was the second number we selected. So I'm gonna put minus two X. And then finally, minus 10 on the end. So like that, bam, okay? And that there is uh, step number three, done. Now what we're gonna do is it says to factorize the first two terms and the last two terms. So be careful with this part, right? This part you gotta pay attention to. So the first two terms, I'm gonna highlight those in yellow. And that's that over there. And the last two terms, um, I'll highlight those in blue. Now you might be thinking why I didn't highlight the minus sign, I'll tell you in a second, okay? So this sign that's in the middle, in this question it's a minus. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring it downwards and pop a minus down there. Now, let's start factorizing this. What can you take out of these two that's common? You can only take an x out. So you can put x on the outside and then x plus five. And you know you can always check once you factorize something by expanding it to see if you factorized it correctly. Next thing is we need to factorize this. So you've got two x and 10. The only thing that you can take out of there is a two. So I'm gonna put two on the outside. But now when I fill in my bracket, I must be careful, right? So what's gonna go on the inside? Well, minus two times something has gotta give me this two x over here. So that's gonna be an x, 
because minus 2 times by x would give me that minus 2x there. And then what goes in here? Now, look, I've got minus 2 on the outside. What do I put in here? It's going to have to be a 5. And now think about your sign. The sign is going to have to be a positive because minus 2 times by positive 5 will give you negative 10. Okay? So that there is step number 4 done. You factorize those two bits. Now, very important at this stage. See number 5 here? I said do your brackets match. Now, if you have done the method correctly so far, the brackets that you have here will match each other, okay? So a very important note is if they don't match each other, then you've done it wrong. You need to go back and find your error, okay? But we've done it correctly because the brackets match. So this is good, boom. And now what we're gonna do is this. See the things I've highlighted in green? That's gonna be your first bracket of your quadratic. So there we go, look like this, and then x plus five. And now what is left over? Can you see you've got here x and then minus two, and those two things form your second bracket. So you just put x and minus 2, and that's it. Done. It's factorized. Okay? Let's look at another one. Again, we'll follow exactly the same steps. So the first thing is get some labels on here. So a, b, and c. So a in this one, again, is going to be 1. So I'm going to put here a equals 1, b equals minus 8, and c is uh, positive 12 this time. There we go. Multiply a and c together. So a is 1. C is 12, so it's just 1 times 12, which is 12. And note down what B was. B was minus 8. So what we've got to do now is think of some numbers that multiply to A times C, which was this, 12. So think of numbers that multiply to 12. So we could go with 12 times 1. We could do minus 12 times minus 1. We could do uh, 6 times 2. We could do minus 6 times minus 2. Or we could have 3 times 4 or minus 3 times minus 4. I think all of those combinations could work. But we've got to select the one, remember, that adds up to make B. So it's got to add to this. Now, hopefully you guys can see that that's going to be that one in here, minus 6, minus 2. So minus 6 is my first number I'm picking. Minus 2 is the second number that I'm picking. So step number 2, done. Now what do we do? We need to rewrite that middle term, right? So I'm highlighting yellow again. It was minus 8x in this question. And we're going to split that up. Bang. What are we splitting it into? We're splitting it into minus 6x, because that was the first number we chose, and minus 2x, because that was the second number that we chose. Okay, so like this. Uh, we'll have x squared at the front, and then minus 6x, and then minus 2x, and then plus 12. Now, that's done. So we've got to start factorizing. Factorize the first two terms. So look, I'm going to highlight this in yellow again. First two terms. And the last two terms, again, over there, be careful with that minus sign, minus sign, we are going to bring it straight downwards like this with an arrow. Put that there. Bang. So with this now, what can you factorize out of x squared and 6x? You can factorize out an x. So you're left with x minus 6 in that one there. Again, if you want to check it, make sure you expand it and check you get back to the thing in yellow. Now over here with the blue part, you've got 2x and 12. You can take out a 2. And now you just got to think about what goes into your bracket, right? So in your bracket now, you're going to have x in there because minus 2 times x is minus 2x. But then minus 2 times what gives you positive 12? That's going to have to be minus 6, okay? How do you know if you've done it correctly? Because what you do now is you check if your brackets match up. Can you see we've got x minus 6 and x minus 6? These match. This is correct, okay? So I'm just going to put those in green again. So, oh, no, not that. There we go. Here it is. There we go. So we've got x minus 6 and x minus 6. So those match. And remember, that there gives me my first bracket, okay? So x minus 6 over there. And then whatever's left over, so we've got an x here and a minus 2. That there is going to form my second bracket. So let's just pop that down next to it. x minus 2. There we go. And that there is factorized. Done. Okay, here's another one. Same thing again, right? So let's get through this. Um, we've got a on top of here, b on top of here, c on top of here. So we've got a, again, is going to be 1, b is minus 5, and c is minus 14. So 1, 4, there you go, 14. And then multiply a and t together. So that's just 1 times by minus 14, which is minus 14. Write down what b is. b is minus 5. So think of some pairs of numbers that multiply to give you a times c, which is minus 14, right? So minus 14, we can do 1 times minus 14, or we could do uh, minus 1 times 14. 
Or we could do, I think, 7 and 2, 7 and minus 2, rather, and then minus 7 and 2. Pick the one that adds up to minus 5. So I've got to add to this. So which one adds to minus 5? That's going to be minus 7 and 2, because minus 7 plus 2 is minus 5. So I'm going to put here minus 7 and 2. What do we do now? We go and split our middle term, right? So highlight that in yellow, there it is. Okay, and we're gonna split that up. So bam, bam. So we have x squared at the start, then minus seven x, because again, minus seven was the first number we chose, then a positive two, so plus two x, and then minus 14. Okay, so let's get factorizing. So you look at the first two terms there, first two bits there, and the last few bits, so that one over there. And the plus sign in the middle, remember that just comes straight downwards again, pop that plus in there. Okay, so x squared and seven x, what can you take out of there? Just an x, so you're left with x minus seven. And the other side, you can take out a two from here, and then you'll have x minus seven left in your brackets. How do you know this is correct? Because your brackets need to match, and do they match? Yes, they do. So we'll color these in, we've got green for this, and remember that there gives you your first bracket. So you're gonna have x minus seven, and then whatever's left over, so x and then plus two, that there forms your second bracket, so x plus two. And that one there is done. Perfect. Now, lots of examples done there. It's your turn. Jot these down, pause the video, and uh, have a quick go at it, and I'll catch up with you in a couple seconds to see how you've done. Righto, let's get going. So the first one, um, we should have gone A, B, and C. So A was one, B was two, C was minus three, right? So A times C, I'm gonna do this on the side here, A times C would have given me minus 35. And make a note of B, so B was two, right? So we need to pick, uh, pick some numbers that times to give you minus 35, but uh, add to give you two. So I think that there's gonna be, hopefully you've picked seven, and minus five, there we go, that's the number you were hoping to pick. And so if we split up this middle term now, we're gonna have x squared plus seven x minus five x and then minus 35, okay? Some of you may have split it slightly differently and you had the minus five first and then the second, uh, the seven x after that. So you might have had this, let me just do this in red on this side. So you might have had this and then take away 5x and then plus 7x and minus 35. Some of you may have done that. But it will get you to the same answer anyway, right? So uh, let's start highlighting now. Highlight the first two bits. So there we go. And then highlight the second two bits. So that over there. Bring down the sign in the middle. So that there, minus. And then factorize the left. So you'll have x here and x plus 7. And then on this side, take out 5 and then x plus seven like that remember you could always expand it out to make sure you get back to that to double check if it's correct and also the other way of checking it's correct is these brackets should match up which they do so let's get the highlighter again the stuff in green that's going to form your first bracket so we'll have x plus seven in the front there and then whatever's left over so you've got x and then minus five that there's going to give you your second bracket so you've got x minus five done now, if you did rewrite it the other way, then let's have a look at how you would get to your answer. You've got this in yellow and the second part there in blue. So like this, bring that plus sign down in the middle, plus there. Start factorizing up the stuff on the left. So X and then X minus five. And then on this side, seven and then X minus five. And then your brackets match up again. So this is great news. Um, let's just get that green highlighter again. So x minus five, x minus five. That there forms your first bracket. So x minus five. And then whatever is left over, you remember, gives you your second bracket. Hopefully you can see there that that is going to be uh, x and then add seven. So x plus seven, and there we go. See, you've got exactly the same bracket. So there and there, done. Now if the second one then, let's just get through this really, really quickly. A, B, and C. So um, A is equal to one, B is equal to minus five, C is equal to positive four. 
So uh, a times c would give me just four. And write down what b is, b was minus five. So we need numbers that times to four, but then add to um, minus five. So that's going to be minus four and minus one. That's the combination that we need. And we'll use that to split up the minus five x, okay? So we got x squared minus four x, and then minus, um, well, minus one x or minus x, whatever you want to put. I'll just put one x just for the sake of it. And then we we'll put plus four over here. And now, Highlight the first two bits, so that one and that one. And the second two bits, remember the sign in the middle, what we're going to do with it, we're going to bring it downwards, right? So over here with the minus. Now then, the bit in yellow, what can we factorize out of there? We can take x out. So you got x and then x minus 4. Now with the next bit, some of you would have thought, mm, I'm not quite sure what to do here because you've got a 1, right? So if you aren't sure what to factorize out, or if you think you can't really take anything out, then you just take out a 1, like that, okay? And then think about what goes into, into that bracket now. So you'd have x over there because minus 1 times x gives you minus 1x. And then minus 1 times by what, you know, if you've got to think what's going to go in here, so that when you times it, it gives you positive 4. So then that's going to have to be a negative 4 in here because of that minus on the outside. Remember, you can always check it by expanding it all out and making sure you get to this or by checking that both of these brackets match up. That's the other way. Okay, perfect. So... Let's get this in green and this one in green. That there's going to form our first bracket, which is x minus 4. And then the stuff that's left over, so x and then minus 1. That there's going to form our second bracket, so that's going to be x minus 1. Bam, bam. Okay, there we go. Lovely. Okay, so hopefully you, you know now how to factorize a quadratic. There's lots of examples that we've done there and a few that you tried for yourself. Um, now those were like the easy quadratics, there's going to be some which are a little bit more tricky where you've got uh, like numbers in front of the x squared. So we're going to check that one out next. Okay, so hope to see you there.